Hi everyone, my name is Manesh and I am the Regional Manager here at the University of Gloucestershire. I look after the North American market here, so Canada and the USA, and I'm here to talk to you about your transfer options to the University of Gloucestershire. Before we begin, um, it's it will be a good start to, to take a look at the, the rankings. Um, we recently took part in the International Student Barometer, um, which was a global survey to stu international students um, based on their experience at their respective institutions. Um, as you can see, we were ranked quite highly in a few kind of metrics. So second globally for employability support, eighth globally for expert, le expert lecturers, uh, seventh globally for our virtual learning environment and third globally for personal tutors. As you can see as well for the Guardian 23 rankings, we have a few core subject areas um, which are we will be ranked um, highly as well. So fifth overall for geography and the environment, 16th for creative writing, 11th for hospitality, events and tourism and 18th overall for journalism and the media. Um, we also um, have some pretty good scores for the research excellence framework. So 47% of our research was rated world leading or internationally excellent. Um, and this is obviously quite a key thing to consider if you're looking to come and study here at the, uh, in the UK, um, because you'll be learning from these, these lecturers and, and these um, academics. So if they're leading in, in that area uh, of research, then you're only going to benefit from, from learning from them. If you're not familiar with where we are, as you can see on the right hand side, um, those two blue dots are Chapman and Gloucester where the university is spread across. Um, we're two hours from London, one hour from Birmingham, Bristol, Bath, Oxford and Cardiff uh, and both places, both Chapman and Gloucester have brilliant transport links. So um, in your free time on the weekends and, and, and during the vacation periods, um, you'll be able to get around the UK or even to Europe um, quite easily. Um, and just where we are in the UK, we're, we're in the Cotswolds, in the countryside, um, but not too far from, from the big city. So it's really well connected. As you can see here, um, Bybury Village, Sudley Castle and Borton, Borton on the Water are just three of the, the little villages and towns that you could potentially come and see. Um, there's a lot of kind of history there, a lot of green spaces. Um, and then at the bottom right, you can see Cleve Hill. Um, I think there's about a 40 minute walk to the top. Um, and once you get to the top, you can see kind of panoramic views of the, of the surrounding area. So you can see all of Cheltenham and um, some of Chooksbury and then obviously Bishop's Cleve as well. We have three main campuses. So in the top left is Francis Close Hall. This has um, kind of our English and humanities courses. Um, on the right is Park, where we have um, our cyber uh, courses, computer science, fashion, design. Um, and then bottom left, uh, sorry, bo uh, bottom in the middle is Oxdalls. So that's where, that's the business school. And then to the right of that is just the remainder of Oxdalls, which is, um, which ho holds our kind of sports science, nursing, um, kind of sports therapy courses and then the bottom left that has our creative courses so things like graphic design visual communication that sort of thing and um, that's also in Cheltenham but it's, it's quite small compared to the other campuses. Cheltenham is quite a big town um, there's lots to kind of do um, and see in in the town centre um, there's shops restaurants bars but in the middle there you can see the big green kind of space with the building at the back that's Pitfield Park um, in the summer there's events that take place on on there there's sports games people have picnics people come um, to like walk their dogs and so on so it's a really nice place to to kind of to visit um, and then at the bottom uh, just underneath that is is another picture of Cleve Hill which is a, again a really good walk um, up to the top and then this is Gloucester, so similar sort of architecture across the city and the town. Um, but Gloucester is is the main city um, in the region. So bottom left, you can see the docks. Um, these used the buildings in the background used to be uh, factories and mills and, and warehouses, and they've been turned into apartments, restaurants, bars, and and so on. So it's a really nice kind of vibrant area to come and visit. 
Um, and then bottom right is the Gloucester Cathedral. Again, lots of history there. Um, and if you're a big fan of Harry Potter, um, some of it was filmed within the grounds of, um, of the building. If you want to have a, a closer look at kind of the campus, the buildings, like where you'll be learning and, and so on, you can take a virtual tour. It's quite a good option for you um, to do that within the comfort of your own home. These are the main pathways from Seneca. So as you can see, the ones in red, um, this will more than likely change to BSc Computer Science. We don't run the BSc Computing course anymore. Um, so I'm speaking with the, the faculty at the moment to, to get this remapped. Um, but as you can see, the remainder of them um, are all at level six. So level six will be coming into final year here, here at Gloucestershire. And then the bottom course is the, the MA comms, PR and media master's stage. You will do this via distance learning if you're on that pathway. And this is a takes a year um, to complete. So the master stage would be you doing your thesis or your dissertation. To transfer via top up and masters, um, you'll need to have uh, credits mapped to 240 to get into level six. Um, so a diploma on advanced diploma. Um, and then to be approved for a postgraduate master stage, we need 120 credits uh, of mapped courses. Um, this, because they are uh, mapped pathways, this would have been already kind of agreed um, for these transfer routes. And then how do you transfer? So your APL is pre-approved for ma mapped pathways, and then you'll either transfer to level five or level six, so level six for the pathways we have. Um, and then for the master stage, you'll, you'll do the the thesis part portion of the 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 master's program. We will need to see your final certificate and your official transcript. Um, and in some cases, if English isn't your first language, um, you will need to provide an English qualification to us. But we can sort this out once you have applied. Some of our school highlights um, are below. So you can see we have a protect protect the planet. Um, point there. So we are very big on sustainability. Um, we are one of the, the UK's leading universities for sustainability. Um, we have a lot of industry links, so over 4,000 students each year take part in placements um, and we have cutting edge facilities. So if you're looking to get that kind of industry experience on campus, we have um, high tech facilities across all of our degrees. So whether it's in the fashion studio or the trading room in the business school, we have environment chambers, we have strength and conditioning suites and so on. Um, you'll get a lot of exposure to what you'll be using um, in further study or, or in employment. We are a festival county, so there's a lot of festivals in, in the area um, that you can you can attend. So music, jazz, food, literature and so on. Um, so it's a real good opportunity to really make the most of kind of what's on offer here in, in the UK. We have expert lecturers. Um, so I mentioned previously about the research excellence framework, and this is obviously very key in um, in your decision in in kind of your learning journey. Being able to learn from leaders in the field is is only going to benefit your academics um, and will have an impact on you, whether you go on to further study or, or into employment. Uh, and then lastly, we have a really good level of, of graduate employability. So over 90 percent of students are in either further study or employment six months after graduating from us. Coming here, you're going to be um, an international student. So if you haven't studied abroad before or if you've not been to the UK before, it can be quite a culture shock. Um, we're kind of here along with a, a range of other teams to, to make your stay as enjoyable as possible. Excuse me. Um, and there are a few activities for international students that are run by different teams. So there's an international cafe, um, international society and events, trips and organisations um, that are, are organised by ISA or, or, or um, some of the other societies. These can be in and around the UK or, or Europe. If you're struggling, then there are a few other kind of pointers um, or if you need a bit of help, there are a few other teams that can give you some pointers. So the help zones on campus, your personal tutors or international buddies. 
Um, there's a lot of kind of support available for you should you need it. If you're interested in the students' union in, in sports or joining a society, then the, these are run by the students' union. They also do other events throughout the year, which you can obviously join and take advantage of. Um, and then the last thing, um, which I think is really important, is the Employability and Careers Service. So we have a team called Your Future Plan, and they will be able to help advise you on your next steps after you graduate, or if you're looking for a part-time job, they'll be able to help with that. So for students coming um, for the level six top up, so at bachelor level, the, the fee is 15,540. Um, you are going to receive a 5,000 pound progression partner scholarship should you come on one of the mapped routes. So that will take your fee down to 10,540. And should you um, accept that place and you need a visa, you'll then need to pay a £4,000 advance fee payment deposit, which will come off the, the overall fee. So once that's paid and you get your visa and then you're due to start the year, you'll need to pay at least 50% of the remaining balance of the fees um, before semester one. So as I mentioned before, um, if you come on a mapped mapped pathway um, you'll be eligible for a £5,000 um, deduction. Um, if you don't come on a map pathway so you're just looking to transfer to final year then we have what's called the International Grant Award which, are which is a £2,000 reduction from the first year of your fees. So here are some of our photos of the accommodation. We do have um, a few areas um, which you can live so Oxdalls, uh, Pitville, Ermin Hall, Blackfriars um, are just some of the areas where the accommodation is. They are split over Cheltenham and Gloucester. Um, Pitville is the main accommodation in Cheltenham and Oxdalls is the main one in, in Gloucester. Um, these vary from £133 to £213 a week. The majority of the rooms are en suite with a shared kitchen, but there are certain rooms that are studio based so you will have your own kitchen living space um, they are a bit more expensive if you want to live outside of student residence then we do have university approved housing this can be a bit more expensive because um, some of the the rents don't include bills um, but we do have a list of vetted um, properties and landlords. Um, so if you want to go down that route, then, then the team can advise. Um, and then lastly, we are a festival county. I did touch upon, a, touch upon it a, a briefly a bit earlier. We have over 45 festivals a year, including jazz, science, food and literature, um, over 500 pubs and clubs. And it isn't what you kind of expect. So it's the perfect place to get the most, uh, get the best of both city and country life so there's lots to kind of see and do um here in in the region um and it's a really good place to come come and uh, live and, and study so if you are interested or want to find out more please send me an email um we can either like you can ask your questions on email or if you want to set up a, a call with me um then um, we can do that as well um, so, yeah, I look forward to, to receiving your applications uh, and your emails and hopefully see you soon. Thank you.